Hey everyone, welcome back to Digital Revolution. This week, we're gonna be talking about white balance and we're also gonna be reviewing the Expo Imaging white balance disc. So let's get started. What is white balance? White balance is the color temperature of a scene. Every light source has its own color temperature. For example, the sun has its own unique color temperature. House lights have their own color temperature. Clamp lights do, strobe lights. Every light source has a different color temperature. There are different white balances for your camera. For example, there's an indoor setting, a daylight setting, tungsten light, uh, flash, cloudy, anything you can imagine. And now we're gonna show you different examples of what they look like. This is auto. This is the daylight white balance. Shade, cloudy, tungsten light, white fluorescent light, flash, and custom. Even the best cameras don't have the best default white balance settings. For example, the T2i only has a select setting and the 5D only has fewer select settings. So it's probably best to use your custom white balance. But sometimes picking out a white balance can be hard, especially if you're using multiple light sources. So Expo Imaging came up with a quick and easy way to change your white balance to the custom setting. It's called the Expo Disc. And what it is, it comes in a handy pouch. And what it is is a disc, it looks like this, creamy on one side and prism, and like, I don't even know, prism shapes on the other side. So now we're gonna go around taking pictures with this, seeing if we can adjust the white balance. Now this is my first time using the product because Mustafa has been keeping it from me, but hopefully we can get it to work. So let's go. I'm a little scared this isn't gonna work our first time. But what do I do? Take a take a picture, take a picture. of the sun. Now I think I think I think we did something wrong. Huh? Now what you have to do? Custom white balance and then OK, and there we go. It's good to go. But I just did that. So what you do is you put it on lens, no screwing or anything, and then you just take a picture of your light source. Then you should get an image that looks like that. You go to menu. You go to custom white balance. You select the image you just took. And there you go. Oh wait, the expo image. And there you go, you have perfect white balance. But Parker is terrible, guys. Now Parker is gonna be taking some sample pictures of the park right over there. Wow, this park is sweet. Let's take some photos. Why you, you oh, I, I, don't, I don't know. Wow, look at that white balance. That white balance is sweet. Holy shit. Sweet as hell. Oh my god, now I'm gonna go down the slide. Cool, I can't even make it down the slide. Good job, Parker. Thanks, and it's overheating. High five, Parker. The camera's overheating. What? You're kidding. The, the camera's overheating. Uh, Turn it off for like five seconds or something. Let's go to the park. Even though this is a wonderful product, there are other alternatives than using this disc. For example, you could take a piece of paper, a piece of white paper, just take a picture of it, and then use your custom white balance settings. Another thing that Expo Imaging also has is the Expo Aperture Disc. So what this does is you enter all your settings, such as focal length, aperture, and distance from your subject, and it'll give you the almost egg. Oops. What it'll do is give you the almost exact amount of depth of field you have, or the amount of space that your subject can be in focus. It's actually really cool and it works really well. Overall, these are two great products, one for depth of field and one for white balance. Head over to expoimaging.com to check out some great products, and I'll see you next week with a brand new episode of Parker's Digital Revolution. Peace out. Oh, I'm going the wrong way.